Hey guys, it is Danny, and in this video, we have two tropical systems to talk about. In the Atlantic, we have Invest 91L right in the eastern gulf of mexico as well as tropical depression number seven and so before i go into details please ensure to subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you know every time when i post a new video because i will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right throughout the hurricane season and also we're on the road to 1k and you can also follow me on instagram and so now let's go to the nhc's cone of uncertainty so for tropical depression number seven we're expecting that maybe by tonight it will acquire tropical storm status and also acquiring the name gonzalo which is the next name on the list for this atlantic hurricane season and so it is expected to strengthen over time maybe for just throughout most of this week but by this weekend conditions will start getting unfavorable for further strengthening and those conditions that are expected to occur will induce some weakening so maybe we will see this making landfall over the windward islands as a strong tropical storm by saturday afternoon right there and so after that point after that five day because right now the Cone only, only goes out for about five days, guys. So afterwards, where I live in Jamaica, we could be affected by this. I'll go to the potential path of the system with our different models very soon. And so, guys, we can still see this system become a hurricane, but we still have to just watch and see what exactly will happen. Because just with the right conditions, we will definitely see even a weak category 1 hurricane. And on satellite view right now, here we're seeing it is looking fairly organized as tropical depression. And of course, we're expected to see more intensification and better organization as time goes by. And so, for the potential path of the system, so we're expecting it to be moving mostly to the west-northwest. And so, maybe... After about 120 hours or so, I believe that is where the National Hurricane Center's cone stops. But after that point, we're expecting more of a northwest movement. And so here in Jamaica, we could be affected by this by some time next week, maybe by the, the middle part of the week. And for our potential intensity, here we have majority of our models definitely agreeing on a tropical storm. We have a few taking it up to hurricane and just two of them are saying that it will achieve category 2 status and so guys we just have to keep watching this and if you're in the lesser antilles you definitely need to take the necessary precautions and our next system is invest 91l so this is given a medium 40 percent chance of formation it has quite a bit of time to get in shape to be classified as a tropical cyclone maybe the furthest it will be is a tropical depression but regardless it will definitely bring some rainfall continue the rainfall to parts of cuba just for the next day or so and then maybe for texas and louisiana and even mexico guys and so that is really it for this video guys and if you found this video be to be pretty informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and remember to always be otherwise now we'll keep giving all the necessary updates on the tropics as time goes by